Hello, gorgeous NFA Money Mamas. It's time for episode number 54 of the Women Entrepreneur Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about three ways to handle your addiction to stress so you can uplevel your money mindset. I want you to stop what you're doing right now and just think and check in and feel how stressed out you are. If you really take a few seconds to do this, you'll notice that there's this constant low-level stress running in your system as an entrepreneur, and it causes a lot of emotional blocks, it causes you to repel money away, and it causes you to feel kind of crappy a lot of the time, but because you're so used to it, you don't even notice it. And I know this because the more deep inner work I do on myself, the more and more I notice When I release stress and when I step into relaxation, I start to cry and I have these emotions where I realize, wow, I've been carrying a lot of stress. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. If this topic and this entire podcast is something you're enjoying, you're definitely going to want to join me for my upcoming webinar series. It actually starts today on the release of this episode. Just go to nfamoney.com backslash webinars, nfamoney.com backslash webinars, or if you go to nfamoney.com, you'll see the link at the top of the page for webinars. This is going to be a webinar series that gets released every few weeks for a while, definitely monthly, and the first topics are really awesome. The first one is how to transform your money mindset from stress to success, so a lot of what we're talking about today, but diving way deeper, how fear and imposter syndrome block your money flow, and then three law of attraction strategies for business owners to increase profits. So that's the first three in the webinar series, so I know you're going to want to be there, so just head on over, click on the link and schedule and register for all three. I would love to see you there. Okay, let's get into today's topic, and if you don't know me yet, I'm Dr. Amanda, the money healer. I'm known for going from food stamps to building six figures. And actually what I think I'm really best known for is helping people break through their unconscious money blocks and heal their relationship to money so they can feel a lot better building their business from their zone of genius, doing things they enjoy. And it's really related to today's topic, feeling less stressed. So, you know, let's think about this addiction to stress. I really like this term. I came up with it quite a while ago thinking about how every entrepreneur I know runs on stress. And they're almost as, it's like you're motivated by stress. You wake up in the morning and the first thing is like go time. You have a list of a million things to do and you put too much on your plate and you are superhuman. So because you are someone who is a high achiever and you probably have been your whole life because most entrepreneurs are pretty high achievers and they have that go-getter mentality and they really put a lot on their plate and they're always able to achieve and you're really good at a lot of things and you set high expectations for yourself. This can cause what I call an addiction to stress and where this shows up is that you're not able to relax and you'll really notice your addiction to stress when you sit down to relax. And (laughs) I had this happen the other day. It was a weekend and I had promised myself I'm not opening my computer no matter what and I'm going to relax and I was sitting on the couch and I had nothing to do and I had this almost panic moment where I was like, oh, this doesn't feel good. I don't even know what to do with myself. (laughs) I don't know how to relax. And I'm someone who thinks that I do. I work on this stuff all the time. I'm constantly looking for ways to get aligned so that I can magnetize easier money and feel really good while I do it. And I was really intrigued by that feeling. I thought, wow, if I feel this way, I'm certain my people feel this way. And I hear people talking about this all the time. It's go, 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 and adding more to the plate generally instead of taking things away. And that it's kind of scary to sit and relax. And I think some of this happens happens because you you know as you're going on the cycle of building a business there's a lot to do there is so much to consider as you build a business you know you've got not only your own area of expertise you've got to learn marketing and you've got to learn how to get yourself out there and promote yourself and talk about it and that means you've got to build your brand and then you you've got to decide how much social media to put out there and you know if you're building a podcast or a youtube channel or a blog or something along those lines to promote yourself and then maybe you're networking and you're writing emails and then as you grow you start to delegate to a team so then you've got a team to manage and the list goes on and on and in every single 
single one of those, there's a list within a list. And so if you don't become really good at learning how to optimize your energy and relax, you're going to have this low level of stress. And the problem with having a low level of stress is that you're sending a signal to the universe that you're already overwhelmed and that you have too much going on. And so it closes the door for opportunities to come your way. And what's really fun that you'll watch happen is when you learn how to relax more with the three strategies I'm going to give you today, you will notice that opportunities come your way more easily. And basically it's as if, you know, think of it like you're a house and, and you're totally overwhelmed and you're like, I just want to go into the house and close the door and I don't want to talk to anyone and I don't, I don't want anything to come in because I'm already too overwhelmed. When That's what happens when you're sending out a stress signal. Where in a different scenario, when you're relaxed, it's like doors open, you're welcoming opportunities, you're feeling the flow, and you're like, hey, sure, bring me opportunities, universe. And so you want to have that door open as often as possible in a boundary way. When you need time to relax, close the door and rejuvenate and up level your vibe and then you open the door then the universe brings you opportunities and this is why your business grows in a a spiral curve because if the universe just all of a sudden brought you millions of people to work with or hundreds of people to work with you would be completely overwhelmed and you wouldn't be able to handle it because you might not have the systems in place for it and that's why you scale strategically over time it's because that's all you can handle and so the universe is only going to bring you what you can handle and so just think of it this way if you're sending out a stress signal the universe is helping you out by not bringing you opportunities because it's it's hearing from you oh, you don't have any more room on your plate. You don't have any more bandwidth for me to bring anything to you. And so that's why stress is so detrimental. And, and I want to be clear here also, I'm talking about negative stress. There is positive stress, which we're going to talk about on the, on the webinar. So make sure you come to the webinar because I'm going to dive way deeper into these topics. Um, but there is, there is a version of positive stress. You don't grow without what's called eustress, E-U stress. And that's going to help you grow. When you have too much stress, it's really think of it as distress. Your body gets into a state of disease, your frequency gets into a state of disease, and and that's where the word I like the word disease, it's dis-ease, and that's caused by chronic stress. And when you're in that state, you're degrading and breaking yourself down and you're sending out a signal that you can't handle more and all the energy needs to go to rejuvenation and repair. And so we want to be in a state of use stress where we're challenging ourselves to grow so we feel this excited I like to think of it as excitement and inspiration and where you're going like, oh yeah, I'm ready for the day. I'm ready. Bring on some more and do it in a stage-based way that feels good. Okay. If this is resonating with you. I want to know. I, I like to hear from you to know that these topics are resonating. So be sure to, you know, if you're listening to this on whatever podcast player you're listening on, take a screenshot and then tag me in a post uh, that you shout out NFA money. So my tag is at NFA money and just share what's how this is affecting you, how this is impacting you, is this resonating? Okay, so let's talk about the action steps. There are three action steps that you can take to de-stress, and there are many more. I'm just giving you a little tip here to start today. So the first thing that's really important that you must do if you notice that you're running on a place of con constant stress, or actually this is the first step, is to notice. You've got to acknowledge the stress instead of fighting it. What I see most people do, especially tough, strong, brilliant women like you, is that you want to pretend that the stress isn't there and you have this mentality of like, I can handle it all. I always have. I've, I'm, I've got to figure this out myself. I can do it. I don't want to look weak and vulnerable. If I were to sit down and feel my feelings, what if I cried and I never stopped? Like all of the things that come up and I know they're there because I know you because we're, you know, you're a reflection of me. I'm a reflection of you and we're all in this together and so you know if you notice yourself on go uh, like the button is down the button's down the gas pedals down <laughs> all the time then you probably have an addiction to stress and it's something that you really want to sit and and be with and let yourself acknowledge like so one way to do this just to acknowledge is to just stop what you're doing right now and check in with yourself like listen you know ask yourself like how am I feeling you can put your hand on your heart I like to do this when I'm tapping into my feelings is I, I put my hand on my heart and I'm just like how, how am I feeling and I'll often I'll visualize my little girl self and I'll ask her how she 
he's feeling because it's almost easier to talk to my adult self through her in terms of feelings because it's easier to access. And so just think about like, okay, get into that soft part of yourself, the heart part of yourself, the part that could feel overwhelmed and just ask, how are you feeling? It could be on a scale of one to 10. Are you feeling happy, sad? Are you feeling stressed? Are you feeling, you know, alive and vibrant? Are you, uh, you know, if it's a one to 10 scale is like 10 would be like, I feel stressed to hell. Acknowledge it. Fighting it is not going to make it go away. All it does is causes it to grow. So Carl Jung says, what you resist persists and grows in size. Or what you resist persists and grows in size. We'll just leave it there. So whatever you're resisting, it's not going away because you're resisting it. It's actually increasing because you're building it up in your subconscious. And remember, resistance is the number one reason that you don't manifest. And so you not acknowledging your stress is actually causing it to grow. So just sit with yourself, put your hand on your heart, ask yourself, how am I feeling? Do I feel stressed? You know, you can even listen to your body and just like close your eyes and do a body scan from head to toe and go like, do I feel stress in my head? You know, is my jaw tight? Do I feel like my forehead is tight? Uh, is my heart feeling empty or, or tough? That's str- that could be stress. You know, we get tough when we want to protect ourselves. Um, is my does my stomach hurt? Is my back aching? Like, just check in with yourself. Slow down and check in with yourself, and then label it. Like, is this stress? Is this sadness? What's the stress about? You know, don't be afraid to tap into these things and become aware because that's what helps you reframe it. Remember, my NFA money formula is number one. You got to recognize. So this is the recognition part. Number two, I want you to start to reframe it. So you're going to write down possible relax strategies for yourself. I am getting really into tapping, using it a lot, and it's working really well for me, EFT tapping. I'll be teaching it on the webinars and in my NFA Money Breakthroughs workshop. You could meditate. Um, you could exercise. You could literally just block out 15 minutes on your schedule to just lay on your living room floor and stare at the ceiling and just be, just be still. It could be five minutes even. It doesn't even have to be 15. Like just blocking out intentional time to relax and de-stress and start to reframe this habit of being addicted to always going and feeling stressed out. You're going to need to choose to do something different or it's not going to stop. No no one's coming to save you from this and you are the creator of your reality. So you've got to choose to reframe this habit of being addicted to stress so that you can up-level your money magnetism. And this is a mindset thing. That's why this is on the Money Mindset series this week is because this is a choice. You've got to make a conscious choice to change from the inside to change your outside right? So this is a habits choice. This is you deciding, I choose to be a money magnet, which means I I am deciding and I'm committed and I'm declaring that I choose to take care of myself, right? Okay. So number three, you're going to create the habit by doing the chosen daily strategy. At least once a day, do something relaxing. So if you choose tapping, do tapping for two minutes a day. If it's meditation, meditate for two to 10 minutes a day. If it's exercise, go on a five to 10 minute walk around the block if you're not in the habit of exercising. Just something to start shifting your energy and relaxing more. Maybe it's watching Netflix for 20 minutes a day. I don't care what it is for you. Whatever makes you feel relaxed, I want you to start doing that every single day so that you can start to de- disentangle your addiction to stress and start to slow down, feel more relaxed, and this is going to increase your money magnetism. It's going to increase your feeling of relaxation, which then over time starts to get you more and more into a state of joy and flow, which then will help you up-level your money mindset, up-level your money vibe, and attract easier money your way. So just remember, stress is toxic for your body. It's, It's a very low vibrational frequency. It causes you to block manifestation. So do these three things. Just to recap, one, acknowledge the stress instead of fighting it. Two, write down possible relaxation strategies. And three, create the habit of doing your chosen strategy every single day so that you can start to reprogram yourself over time. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to right now. I know that when you're listening to a podcast, sometimes you're multitasking. Just stop what you're doing right now, unless you're driving and you can't stop (laughs) and go to nfamoney.com backslash webinars and register for the upcoming webinars. You're going to love them. I want to see you there. They're very interactive. It's camera on. We're hanging out. You can ask me questions. So I want to see you there. NFA money webinars, nfamoney.com backslash webinars. And until next time, I'm sending you giant hugs and jumping, stressless, NFA money-making high fives. 
Thank you for listening to this episode of the Woman Entrepreneur Podcast. If you're ready to break through to the next income level in your business, go to www.thewomanentrepreneurpodcast.com to get more money mindset, manifestation, and business scaling resources. Again, that's www.thewomanentrepreneurpodcast.com. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.